What would you do if every human vanished but you? Go back to sleep. They can't fire me now. Or come to collect rent. Guess I got a ton of dogs to take care of now. Download as much information as I could think of off the web before the internet power grid stopped working. And fill up a bunch of gas cans for my new truck I'm going to pick out. Then I'd load up on how to put in solar panels and batteries on my house and try to set up an off-grid system. It's basically what I want to do to get away from all the other humans right now anyway, but without having to live 50 miles outside of town. Find a vantage point as high up in a city as possible, and just live there and slowly watch trees and plants and animals and just nature take over everything we built. Okay I've been thinking about this for a long time. First I'd gather every solar panel I could get my hands on, set myself up a nice power station, second get all propane canasters I can find, they should be good for 30 years, third get a nice pile of firewood, it gets cold here, fourth plant myself an awesome garden, in between that I would stockpile mediation, collect as much BAS and gas stabilizer I could find spend a lot of time at the library, learn more about wood gasinators so I'd have gas forever hunt, fish, gather, and grow, I'd find some cows, pigs, chickens, dogs, it sounds more like heaven, use whatever car I found, for a couple years at least, collect eyeglasses so I'd have options as my eyes deteriorated, read everything, then trip and fall and have to wait and die there on the ground in 3 days. Go on to Yalta and comment last on videos, everybody gangster until you get a like. Everyone just jumping straight to suicide, but honestly the lack of human interaction would suck. But until you're in the moment you have no idea how you will react, I'd probably get straight on the internet, while it's still up, and try and find if anyone else anywhere is around, messaging friends and family. After that I'd start printing off maps of the UK, maps of major cities, museums, landmarks, Printing off pictures of friends and family as well. Then I'd probably break into every house within a mile to get keys to a nice car that I can set up a comfortable living space within. Maybe even a van. Then I'd get on down to the big shops get a nice bed for the van. Big comfy chair. Mini fridge. Camping gear. Some nice tech. Try and get hold of a generator. Solar panels would be great. Get tons of long lasting food. Medicine. Nice alcohol. Really comfy clothing jewelry just for kicks. Then I'd probably start the long trek cross country of getting to friends houses. Maybe build little shrines for each them to one of them. Get something to remember them by. Then it's holiday time. I'd probably head for London. Stay at Buckingham Palace for a bit. I'd want the crown jewels. Probably the place I'd be able to actually find a gun as well. I imagine as time passes and the world gets more wild I'll need that. I'd stock up on good books. DVDs, try and get hold of some technical mechanical scientific data, eventually I'd try and travel through the channel, I'd probably spend my winters in southern Europe and my summers in northern Europe, my biggest advantage is probably my ability to amuse myself, I'd most likely go very crazy quickly though and end up assembling funny scenarios throughout everywhere I go with mannequins, and you just know I'd have mannequin Hitler in Berlin, and if I think I'm gonna die, I'll just drink myself to death. Are the dead bodies gone too? Hope not. Canned food will get boring quick. Now now now, would fertility centers still be available? Because I'd just create a family and from there a populate earth. I'd take it in my stride. Lots of people talking about killing themselves. TBH. I'd probably be quite happy. So this is what I'd do. 1. Find a gun. If at some point I'm severely injured, I'd take myself out. Last resort kind of thing. But the gun will help me hunt because. 2. I'd move to a rural but resource rich area of my country and take over a house. Find some PV panels and learn how to connect the electricity. 3. Grown a load of cannabis, food crops and round up the local livestock. 4. Chill the F out in peace for the rest of my short existence. Honestly, I've daydreamed about this exact scenario happening all my life. I'd probably stockpile supplies and just travel North America and siphon gas from cars to continue driving. When I decide I'm done, I'll just stop eating and drinking. Explore. People's homes. 
government buildings, areas that I would never normally have access to etc. After I tired of that and the reality of never seeing my friends and family ever again sank in, I would probably just do a ton of drugs and drink myself to death out of loneliness. F around until my electricity water shut off then kill myself. I would probably eat my co-worker's breakfast sandwich, it's just sitting there, then I'd probably jerk off. Teach myself how to garden, start a farm, the food in stores can last for a while, canned goods can last for a good long while, but eventually I will need food, treated fuel can apparently last for 3 years if properly stored so siphoning cars for gas to run a generator so I can have electricity, water wouldn't be much of an issue since bottled water would be everywhere and if that ever ran out I'd just travel to a place with lakes and whatnot. that's what I would do to ensure I don't starve. Safety is next. I would be really effing careful with everything I did and I would find all the books in health and keeping your body healthy as I could. My biggest fear would be developing appendicitis, so I would look into trying to avoid that. I would also learn some gun safety and how to make some basic defenses. I would also learn extensively about animals, how to care for dogs and cats and how to give them vaccinations. Then there's entertainment. I would get all the DVDs and books. Every show and movie ever made, every book fiction and non-fiction all the video games and consoles as well, everything. Next would be to reclaim the world's supply of devil's lettuce for my own uses. I wouldn't just be farming my food, no no, I'd have Tegrity, but I wouldn't have to worry about Tegrity, since the shelf life of weed is forever. I don't see why it wouldn't be able to last, as long as it was vacuum sealed. Next would be finding a companion, a good ole dog. I would research dog breeds for the best and calmest breeds, small breeds. I don't need to have a dog that can kill me if it wanted to, so I'd find something small and very loyal like a corgi or something. I would probably get two, a male and female, so they can have babies cause I would need to breed dogs to keep friends and whatnot. I don't think I'd mess with cats, they can be unpredictable I feel. I would have to breed dogs because the dogs that would be left could go feral. Obviously finding a specific breed would be hard but this is probably one of the first things I'd do cause lots of animals will die very quick. Realistically I would probably just find a dog in a person's house on like day one. Cause a dog in someone's place will be already vaccinated and trained. So it would just be a matter of finding a good little pooch. Being very careful to not get attacked by anyone's good boy who was left behind for the end of man. The downsides, I'd have to kill stuff, and learn how to butcher that stuff and keep the meat fresh. I'd only have gas for 3 years for the Jenny so keeping meat fresh and safe to eat would be important. However, in those 3 years I can attempt to learn how to make some sort of solar or wind based option, either that, or move to a home that already has solar. That stuff being said, I think it would be easiest just to become a vegetarian, so I'd probably do that cause the possibility of getting sick from the animal meat would be too high I feel. I would just have to really be good with the gardening, keeping plants free of bugs and fungi, so lots of reading, lots of watching odd gardening films and whatnot, but I would still have to kill stuff, not often, but it would probably come up, like coyotes and rodents that could carry disease. The lonely factor, it would get to me at times, but I think enjoying the peace and beauty of an empty world would help. I just think I would be scared of hurting myself. That's the real thing. Cause something like a broken leg or deep cut can become real bad if not tended to properly. Another thing is nuclear power plants and things like that. With crew gone, I'd imagine they could blow and spread full out. So hopefully I would be able to find some info on that. That's probably the biggest challenge besides the natural disasters and accidents that could happen. Making sure I'm not going to get radiation poisoning. So what would I do? I'd spend the rest of my days living with lol doggies, smoking reefer, and trying not to get myself effin' killed. I think I would really enjoy it, not having to worry about money ever again, not having to worry about the future, just living, surviving, thriving. It would be neat. The quiet would be so cool. Watching nature reclaim stuff would be interesting. Challenges that I would have to overcome would be interesting. Seeing the sky without light pollution and smog would be awesome. Wandering one's busy streets and exploring people's abandoned homes. Working on projects and learning new things. Never having to worry about any wars. Never having to worry about being murdered or robbed or getting into fights. Being the last one. 
That's also something interesting. The last human alive on Earth. There's something really freeing about that to me. Don't have to worry about leaving a legacy. Don't have to worry about carrying on a family name or anything like that. Getting to live amongst what remains of the human race. Sifting through the memories of those who are gone. Reliving what was formerly the human experience through old episodes of The Office and Goma Pile. Suddenly everything would take on a whole new meaning. It would all become artifacts. I'd probably try and preserve some of it in some way. Anyway, that is my very long answer. I'm sure some may think my plan is silly, but it's what I have.